The other day, um, these kids went down to the preliminaries south of Baltimore. They competed against 20 other teams and um, they had to complete 25 Rubik's Cubes in as fast as possible um, with only seven of them here. They could have a team up to eight. We got five minutes and 19 seconds. Since we got fifth place overall, we get to move off to the DC competition where they'll compete for money to go towards the club and to buy purchase Rubik's Cube stuff for them. Ever since last year, we've been practicing the Rubik's Cube and improving our times, and then we finally got to do it, so it was really exciting. When we um, first started solving it, everyone was really excited, but now it's sort of died down, and it's more of a just between like the people that know how to solve it. It's kind of like I've come a long way. Like before, my sister, and she's like two years younger than me, and she can she could solve one side, and I couldn't, so I got really disappointed. <laughs> yeah. So I I just wanted to learn how to solve it, and now that I, I can usually get it in around like a minute ten through a minute twenty, and I'm on like an actual team, and it seems like an actual organized event. This seems pretty cool. Just just being there, I guess. Twenty five Rubik's cubes. They're all scrambled, and it's they're covered with a cloth at the beginning and the timer starts and you have to take off the cloth and then just go. Wait. Seeing everyone else. And we did to meet the guy that invented the rabbit stew. Yeah. It's enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I usually use the Petrus method or the Friedrich method or the layer by layer method. The Friedrich method is more for advanced. That's why I use it. <laughs> All of them were mostly friends before they started. They really got close knit this year, especially knowing that this competition was coming up. Um, and they're starting to work as a team. They've been working well as a team. Um, they're all knowing each other's techniques and knowing when to pass it off. They all work close together. You know, they all were being there for each other and being very, very supportive, which was nice. So it seems like a nice close knit family. <laughs>